first part of the week, we focused on the garden, getting it prepared and then planting. The river has been fluctuating a lot with the rain and it got pretty low and smushed one of our floats for the gangplank, so we had to fix that too. We've had lots of rain, but it looks like we've got a sunny stretch ahead for us to start working on the foundation of our home. today just got the delivery of my new 12 volt pump um, the other one it, I'm not sure um, it ran a little bit dry <laughs> for an amount of time that I couldn't necessarily say uh, and I read online that that some sometimes really shouldn't matter or not but I don't know if maybe it sucks some mud or, or whatever when it when it got blown into shore so um, before I install this bad boy which I got off Amazon um, Discounted and I'm glad so it wasn't a whole lot more than the other pump. They're about a hundred bucks give or take um, But this one feels different right off the bat like out of the box much heavier whole bunch more screws uh, Holding the cover on the diaphragm. I don't know if that matters It just makes me happy when I see that there's more love and attention into the construction um, This won't matter for our use because we're using it outdoors But it's got these rubber feet built in so that if you secure it in you know in an RV or something then it's like vibration damping it will uh, kind of lessen the noise that the pump makes um, other than that it's the same as the other it's got a strainer on the one end on the intake side um, and on the other side that's your outlet so I'll hook that back up to the hose um, the only thing I've got to be careful about is testing it first it does come with this um, uh, some kind of little plastic fitting kind of like a trailer light kind of plug so I don't have one on the other end, I just have bare wire, so I'll have to cut this, but I don't want to do that before I know it's working and everything's kosher, uh, lest I can't return it. So I'll probably just kind of twist the wire up and fit it in there or use some alligator clips or something just to, to make contact, test it out, make sure everything's good. And then if it is, I'll cut this back, strip the wire off, attach it with the, with the marettes or the wire nuts, and uh, away we go. But yeah, just in time, because Yesterday we planted the garden, uh, less some corn that we have to do today, and tomatoes. But other than that, all our greens, we had spinach, lettuce, yada, yada, yada. And I watered it yesterday by hand with the, with the watering can going back and forth to the river. If I can avoid that, I will. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't I'm just going to leave the excess float Kind of let people know it's there You know what I mean? Yeah That's that That's now well submerged It'll stay out there, won't get sucked back into the shore 
That takes care of that job. Can't see it. I was gonna say, I was just making a joke. I was gonna say, you have to have it over your head and be eight feet tall. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. where the middle is. Hey guys, so we spent most of yesterday just staking out where the template of the house is going to be, you know, exactly where we want it to sit, how we want it to face, uh, the view we want to have, all those things um, kind of based against what we already have as far as a whole goes and um, just making sure that we are considering all the different um, distances that we need to be away from the septic bed and the the uh, well and the property line all those things so um, we did a pretty good job of getting that all set up yesterday but Al has to use the laser level to make it exact and we realized that during the day it's just too sunny for him to be able to use that and actually see the lines so he's going to be doing that this evening i'm going to be taking down the old solar shed that we had for the old system and uh, i'm going to be taking that apart basically down to the uh, main structure and we are going to be uh, animal proofing it to make sure that you know none of the critters can get in because we have learned our lesson from that and we're going to be moving that down by the water so that we can keep that as a shed for anything that we need for the garden and then also um, you know life jackets paddles anything like that so um, we're going to be also changing the des design of it we have decided that we um, we don't really like the design that we did with that particular one. That was our first one and it was a bit of a rush job. So uh, we are going to be changing that up a little bit too. So it's getting very exciting because everything's starting to come together now.
I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this tree is just buzzing with bees and hummingbirds. I can't tell, there's no way to know. Oh, there, I can see the line. Yeah, the bugs are absolutely terrific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they truly are. Mosquitoes and then like 9,000 more that haven't been infected. Send. Is it on? Okay. All right. Whew. Hurry up. Oh my God. This is awful. No, I know. I know. They're like all around my hands and all around everything. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is crazy, man.
Hey folks, um, just a quick side quest, uh, you know, <laughs> story of our life. Um, Kim's in the midst of tearing down the Mouse Hotel, the old solar shed, and uh, recovered the two fans, the two 24 volt DC fans that we had in there cooling the batteries, um, and employed them to do the same in here, especially since the batteries are kind of cooped up behind in this box. I put one at the back, um, kind of to the far left of this, to blow air across and underneath and then I have another one pointed directly up to blow air straight up through because there's no top on this um, and also because I'm running the power from just the one charge controller I ran it, uh, I ran it to a junction box and then split it off to a switch for the light so now instead of using the onboard load switch on the charge controller to turn the light on and off I have just a regular dedicated switch and then, of course, the other branch goes to the uh, thermostat, which then feeds power to the fans. So it's pretty loud in truth, but uh, we might replace them with some quieter models. Uh, didn't care before because it was outside. Um, but it's really, it's just, just to keep the batteries kind of an optimal operating temperature between like around 25, 30 degrees Celsius. Good times. For those of you who can't smell this, it is horrible and we will never forget this lesson. Mice just infested this building or, you know, outside building. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do it properly when we uh, take it down to the river. Maybe you do trying to give me a plague. Things that could go wrong, and we can take our time and 
we may change our mind But I can tell a good thing When a good thing comes along Darling, tell me all about the dreams you had last night You can be so restless in your sleep Tracing around it, and then I'm going to measure, and then I'll adjust it until I have the right size hole, and then I can use the outline as the guide so I don't overdig with the tractor. Yeah. I think already, and I'm trying to keep it relatively centered, and then I don't have to worry as much about where center is. Although I still have my strings to help me. So that goes out 22 on that side. Twenty-two on this side, right there. So we've officially broken ground. That's it, right there. Boom. Yay!